Hey everyone! Today I'd like to go over generic delegate types. They allow you to store references to functions in a type safe way. Often these are used to pass one function into another function such that the two functions can remain clean and uncoupled. So in this example, this function takes in a single action called onComplete, and once it's finished its work, it calls it. So if you're sure that onComplete will never be null, you can just call it like this. But if there's any chance that onComplete could be null, you're going to want to put a question mark at the end of it and then call invoke. This is basically just a helper method that will ensure that if onComplete is null, it does nothing and doesn't explode. Action is the simplest of all these types, and it represents a function that takes in no parameters and returns nothing. Now let's look at some more complicated types. So if we have an action of type int, what that means is a function that takes in a single int parameter and returns nothing. So you can see here this anonymous delegate matches that signature, and so you can assign it to this variable and then call it, passing in a single int. Going one step further, here we have an action of int float. This means an action with two parameters, an int and a float, and again it returns nothing, and you can call it. So in addition to these anonymous delegate declarations, we can also just pass regular functions into these variables if their function signature matches the variable type. So here we have action example function, and if we check it out, it's a function that takes in an int and a float and returns nothing. And so because that matches action of int float, you can assign it to a variable of that type, and it just works. And again, you can take this variable and call it later, passing in an int and a float. So in addition to these action types, we've also got functs. So a func is basically an action that returns something. That's the key difference between the two of them. So if we have a func with no type parameters, that doesn't actually make any sense because a func by definition has to return something. So our simplest version of func is a func with a single type parameter. So a func of int is a function that takes in no parameters and returns an int. So you can see here, we call func with no parameters and we get an int. Going one step further, we get a func int int. So this is a bit trickier to understand. So for functs, the final type parameter is always the return type and then the preceding type parameters are the parameters. So a func of int int is a function that takes in a single int and returns an int. One step further, we've got a func of int float int. Again, the last parameter is the return type. So this is a function that takes in two parameters, an int and a float, and returns an int. And again, you can see here the signatures match. And once again, as with actions, in addition to these anonymous delegate types, we can also have regular functions. So if we look at this function here, it's a function that takes in an int and a float and returns an int. And because this matches the signature of the type, we got func int float int, you can assign them and again, call this later with a int and a float and get an int. So finally, we have the predicate type, which is basically just a specific kind of func. So a predicate is something that takes in a single parameter and always returns a bool. Predicates are much more limited than functs. For example, you can't have more than one parameter, so a predicate of int float just doesn't compile. So a predicate always has one type parameter, and it returns a bool. In this case, a predicate int is basically equivalent to a func of int bool. I think the main reason this is around is for clarity's sake. A lot of built-in C-sharp functions will take in a predicate because it's a fairly common operation, and so they made this specialized type. But there really isn't anything special about it compared to the equivalent func. All right, so those are all the generic delegate types. These can be super useful in keeping your code clean and uncoupled. I often forget the syntax, so this file is a really useful reference. I'll be uploading this as a GitHub gist, and I'll put a link in the description. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like. Thanks for watching.